uh, by kind of somewhat like a default you can give birth to children but you need to have a design how to bring them up all right all right we we need to have a design so by default it will be, be give birth to children but you need a design design means not controlling them all right how to make them happy for example somewhere as the child is growing you have to give certain important values we cannot force a value we have cannot force a value but we have to inspire them to have a value ultimately actions is a correlate of your thoughts and thoughts is a correlate of your value please get this very clearly as well action is the correlate of your thoughts thoughts is a correlate of your value if you have a value towards alcohol you will have thoughts of alcohol and leads to an action taking alcohol now no also as parents you should understand environment has an impact education has an impact see environment has an impact all right and also education has also got an impact so therefore in environment and education all right so and then also experience has an impact please keep this i want you to understand environment has an impact education has an impact and your experience has an impact now when you digest all this it will become clearly so somewhere as a family you have to create a certain value this value cannot be forced in the person it has to be given all right now how do you administer value is a great skill that's why krishna says yoga ha karma so koshala in my book i have given a beautiful story of a story of a young boy who loves the dog very much he loves the dog so much and therefore he you now from his pocket money right he he has the dog from pocket money the dog is not well not well it wants to be more healthy he wants the dog to be more healthy so what he does is go get some cod liver oil so he finds the dog is weak from his own pocket money gets cod liver oil and therefore then tries to keep the dog in between the legs and pour some cod liver oil and tells the dog i know this bitter please i know this bitter is good for health there is there and therefore you must take keeps the dog in between the legs opens the mouth and puts cod liver oil i know it is bitter it's good for you and forces it and the dog pushes and goes away and in the process the cod liver oil bottle falls on the ground and then afterwards the dog comes there and licks the cod liver oil now the boy realized he the dog was not against the cod liver oil the dog was against the way i administered cod liver oil so sometimes the way we administer advice to children is somewhere we advise children is not so can you become sensitive towards that dimension is one thing keep that in intention it is not what you say it's how you say what you say now first thing you have to be very clear first thing as per, somewhere very dexterously you have to bring in right you want all your children everybody wants to be happy sir who doesn't want to be happy people get married to be happy people get divorced to be happy people have children to be happy some people don't have children to be happy we want to be happy now where does happiness reside somewhere very dexterously you have to save this value where will how do you uh, how where is happiness lot of uh, the whole world including sort of parents they think pleasure is equal to happiness and the environment has put with advertisement so much pleasure 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 has its place but pleasure is not happiness it's called bhoga vilas ananda is different happiness is within you lord krishna say antasukam when your mind is calm and serene and you are egoless happiness will flood your whole being you may have all the pleasures and mind be highly egoistic please understand you may not get joy a distinction that happiness is distinct from pleasure pleasure has its place but happiness is something within you when mind is calm and egoless only then happiness will start flooding you is gut antar anahat garjai ismi utat puhar says kabir in this pot called this body there is silence roaring inside you anahat garjai is roaring ismi utat puhar like a fountain it is flowing 
but if your mind should be without ego now a small kid will not understand what is ego and that's where mother skill and love to show right where can you develop ego ego is a silly thing there all right you should be grateful if i am a good speaker i cannot be proud i am a good speaker i am grateful i am a good speaker if i am very knowledgeable i am grateful i am knowledgeable because my gurus have added to me the sun and the stars and the kind of uh, akasha vayu agni has all given and therefore my brain can work and if gratitude is not there please understand you will you can never experience joy therefore in tamil there is a very beautiful kural which says yennandri kondraakum uyi undam uyi villai senandri kondramaarku if you don't have any other thing there is praischitta karma if you don't have gratitude there is no praischitta karma and therefore in the hindu tradition you are supposed to do three tarpanas right three tarpanas and if parents are practicing it doesn't matter whether hindu or christian or muslim if you do that we do brahma wish along the line i'll be teaching you to you take your bath afterwards put water and say brahma vishnu shiva tarpayami means to the god i offer my gratitude then pitrun tarpayami to my ancestors right because of whose blessings we are there i offer my gratitude and then to my saptarishis all the enlightened masters i gratitude and if you are doing this as a ritual every day and gratitude like a singer goes on singing singing and develop sweetness in the voice so to you will start doing that and therefore you need to bring that dimension let me see if i can show you a keynote right uh just see one keynote for you sweta so let's see for example uh let's see i want very quickly i'm not going to elaborate this too much i'm not going to elaborate this too much along the line we'll be putting see right it's transaction analysis this is but still transaction analysis still i'm putting there there is an authoritative parent and there is please understand there can be an empowering parent so as parent you right are you authoritative are you empowering say so, no parent has to do auditing itself now second right please see are is there an immature adult in you or there is please see a matured adult in you as a parent you have to audit yourself sir third important thing is there a adamant child in you see even as parents there can be an adamant child or there is a free flowing child in you so if as parents if you can help yourself to be an empowering parent a matured adult and a free flowing child rather than the other three so transaction analysis says you will be an empowering parent and i will say very important is this as a parent this parenting style i'm not going to touch much into it all right you can be a over protective parent you can be an under protective parent you can be a permissive parent you can be a regiment parent you can be a powerless parent sometimes parents are powerless so the children will do tantrums you can be a overpowering parent can you see this you can be overpowering parent okay now again something is stuck huh huh right authoritative parent over emotional parent i see some parents are over emotional they are over emotional they can be indifferent parent over expectation parent no expectation parent that's also problem are getting this unsupportive parent please understand over supportive parent please see that. you know i can talk 2 3 hours on this give me example but i'm sure sweta you are smart enough to get this but i don't want you to be any of this so you have to do a lot of kind of coaching to yourself what a parenting style which is wise is this please see i want you to be first a learning parent you should learn how to teach your children you learn to teach yourself then please understand you should be an empowering parent sir right then please understand you should be a balanced parent sometimes you allow children to be little naughty don't be over so they for learning and empowering and balanced parent if you do this sir, then your being is going to be empowering 
right your being is going to be empowering more than your words your being is going to be empowering and when your being is empowering right it is going to be really powerful wonderful you have listened to my talk see we listen superficially we don't listen deeply how to listen deeply you will develop a key and that key will unlock the psychological traps we are gotten so by joining my 5 days whatsapp boot camp you will get that magical key welcome welcome welcome